Hey guys, what's up? It is Preach as always. So today's video is going to be another commentary over top of the gameplay, but before we jump into the subject of today's video, you guys know what to do. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button. If you're new here, subscribe, turn the bell notifications on if you want to know every time I post a new video. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into the subjects for today, and I have several that I want to discuss. Alright, the first one is going to be lobby disbanding. And obviously during this beta, we are, after every single game is over, we are disbanding lobbies. Now this has been a thing since Modern Warfare 2019, so it's not something that I expect to go away for the full gameplay. It's something that is going to continue, but it, to me, is proof that Activision, while they claim they are listening, and in Infinity Ward, while they claim that they are listening to what the community wants, they really are not, because they're not disbanding lobbies, and... They can say that it's so that, you know, this, we, you know, we're not wrecking the same, you know, no thumb Timmy's every single match, but, you know, they can use their lack of thumbs to use the controller however they normally would to back out of the lobby themselves if they don't want to play in it. So stop disbanding lobbies. It's how some of us made some of our friends that we still play Call of Duty with is by being in the same lobby with the same people over and over and over and over and over again. So that's the first thing, which brings me to another little issue that I think is just a beta only issue, and I hope that that is the case, and that it is putting me into games that are already in progress when I didn't even back out of the lobby. So if you play Modern Warfare 2019 or Cold War or Vanguard, the lobby would disband after a game, but it would put you in a fresh game, and the only way you came into games that were partway finished or in progress was if you were first clicking find a match. But if you had never backed out, it would put you in a clean game. This is not doing that, so I'm finishing a game, looking over at my monitor on the other side to try to save the gameplay or delete the gameplay if it, depending on how it went, and I look back to my main monitor and I'm already loading into another match. It's already halfway over and I never backed out anything like that. And I think that's probably just a beta issue, but it is something that I wanted to point out in this video. One of the other issues that I would really like to point out is they have already found a way to break the slide canceling movement mechanic. All right. They've already found a way to break the game and slide cancel but the good news i have here is that since it was seemed to be a goal for infinity ward to not have slide canceling in this game i'm willing to bet that this is probably going to get patched out of the game but apparently if you change around some of your settings and i'm not going to look it up to explain how to do it because i don't plan on using it and i'm sure that it's going to get taken away but if you change some settings and do it just right you can still slide cancel in this game in the beta form that we have right now the other subject, time to kill, is my other biggest issue in this game besides the footsteps from my video from Saturday evening. Time to kill in this game is incredibly fast. It feels like you're playing hardcore. and We, we had this a little bit in Modern Warfare 2019. We had it to a degree in Vanguard. Cold War, we did not have this problem. All right, so flinch is incredibly high, time to kill is really fast, and that just emphasizes more of the tactical sit there, be the sentinel guy, the guy that's just going to sit there in a building or sit there on one head glitch the whole game and play. It's, it's just one more advantage they get. They get the loud footsteps, they get all that, they get the ability to be pre-aiming and all of those things, and then also the time to kill is incredibly fast. And my curiosity is, how is hardcore going to feel in this game? If Time to Kill feels this fast in the base game, in the core gameplay, how is hardcore going to feel? Are you going to breathe on people and they're just going to die? If you run by them way too close, are they just going to die? What is that going to be like with the Time to Kill playing hardcore? So that's one of my other big issues that I've had in this game. Something else I want to discuss, though, with the slide canceling and time to kill and all of these kind of things is the sprint out time. If the time to kill is going to be this fast, then you really need to have a faster sprint out time. So if I'm running and moving and actually playing Call of Duty like an arcade shooter, like it was meant to be played, 
I can get my gun up and have a chance in these gunfights. Should they have the advantage for pre-aiming? Absolutely. They're already looking at me. That's their advantage. But my advantage should be if I'm using an SMG, I can pop that bad boy up and be shooting it really fast. And I have to have good gun skill to be able to do that. But the time to kill mixed with the slower sprint out times and the slower ADS is not a very good balance for allowing you to rush. And they said in their, you know, Call of Duty next event, we've wanted to create a game that can benefit the campers and the rushers and every other play style. But really, the whole game is just benefiting the campers. It's not benefiting the rushers in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So I don't know what the deal is on that one, okay? And... The other meta movement, and I think this is going to stay, I think this is here to stay, and I'm fine with it because it's it's not something you have to be just cracked out to be able to do, is bunny hopping and jump shotting seems to be the meta in this game, which brings me back to the Black Ops 2 days. That's kind of how it was in Black Ops 2. You could jump seemingly really high in BO2 compared to the games that came out before it. And so that became the meta more than the drop shotting. And I like that a lot better than the slide canceling. So I'm great with the jump shotting staying as the meta in this game. But the gameplay that you're probably looking at right now is on the map Hotel. And I don't have a lot of good gameplay from it, but I wanted to make sure I included it in this video, the gameplay in the background, so that I could talk about this map. I hate this map. This map feels like Infinity Ward being Infinity Ward. They were like, we listened to the community and we gave you maps like Los Almas and we gave you maps that you like, like Farm 18, but we are still going to do our thing and make this terrible, huge, convoluted map with 800 cut-throughs and 8 million places that somebody can be and 8 million head glitches that somebody can be on and you have no idea where anybody is at any time because the mini-map's not actually a proper mini-map anymore and that's the map that they wanted to provide us with this hotel and it is terrible. Let me know in the comments below, have you enjoyed playing this map? Because I've watched loads and loads of streamers loads of YouTube videos, and nobody I have found likes this map. I talked to my co-worker, Austin, today, who played this game over the weekend, and he was like, dude, that hotel map is trash. So, I really don't think anybody is liking this map. But, you know, I could be wrong. You could love this map. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What is your favorite map from the beta? What is your least favorite map from the beta? I want to know. You guys tell me in the comments below, and we're going to go ahead and get prepared for the PC and Xbox beta and those players coming into it and hopefully us having a bigger player pool and more content and more things to do in the beta this coming week. So, you know what to do. Smash the like button, and it has been fun. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Preach out.